A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness in You're listening to my father, Dr. George Hodell. He was a brilliant man who favored poetry and fine music. A child prodigy at the piano. An honor student in medical school. A loving parent in many ways. With a wit as sharp as a surgeon's scalpel. With gravely brilliant eyes. As deeply dark as are these desert skies. He was also, I'm sorry to say, a killer. His most famous victim was Elizabeth Short, the Black Dahlia, whose murder in 1947 remained unsolved, at least publicly, for half a century. I'm also sorry to say the Black Dahlia was not his first murder or his last. I'm Steve Hodell, a retired Los Angeles Police Department homicide detective. My book, Black Dahlia Avenger, which came out in 2003, linked my father to the Black Dahlia and several other unsolved murders from the 1940s. Its publication triggered new revelations about George Hodell's role in the Dahlia case and led me to write a new book about more crimes he may well have committed. Shortly after Black Dahlia Avenger was published, the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office released long secret files about the Dahlia case. Independent of my own investigation, they confirmed my father was indeed the prime suspect, one taken so seriously by investigators that they bugged our Hollywood home, a Frank Lloyd Wright Jr. built Mayan Temple on Franklin Avenue. The stakeout by 18 detectives lasted five weeks. The transcripts show my father making incriminating statements about the murder and talking about payoffs to police. Recently we've also learned that a number of top law enforcement officials had been saying privately for years that Elizabeth Short's killer was a Hollywood doctor living on Franklin Avenue. Their statements suggested the case was too hot to handle. And most recently I discovered more incriminating evidence. Correspondence at the UCLA library showing 50 pound sacks of cement sent to my father's house for remodeling work just days before the Dahlia murder. Sacks apparently identical to the ones found with her remains, used to carry her bisected, mutilated body to the vacant lot where it was found. It's now 10 years since my father's death. Had his crime stopped with the horrific killing of Elizabeth Short, I could close the book and move on. But the research prompted by the Dahlia case has led the cop and me to suspect Dr. George Hodell was responsible for a number of other murders, including two of the most famous crime sprees in American history. I outline them in my new book, Most Evil, Crimes in Chicago, the Philippines, the San Francisco Bay Area. There are the lipstick murders in Chicago in 1945 and 46. First, Josephine Ross and Francis Brown, strangulation bathtub murders, in which the killer's M.O. appears identical to a 1944 case in Los Angeles, I believe involved my father. The third Chicago case was the killing of a six-year-old girl, Suzanne Degnan. Near her body, the killer left a message, as he did in one of the other Chicago murders, printed in lipstick. Stop me before I kill more. Under prolonged brutal questioning and physical torture, a 17-year-old named William Hirons confessed to the lipstick murders. Sent to prison without a trial, he has spent 63 years behind bars. For reasons outlined in Most Evil, I believe he's an innocent man. There's also the jigsaw murder of Lucilla Lalou in Manila in 1967. The crime is identical to the Black Dahlia, the body surgically bisected and posed in plain sight in a vacant lot. At the time, my father lived a half mile away. And there are the unsolved Zodiac murders in the San Francisco Bay Area. Five seemingly random and motiveless killings in the late 1960s. The common thread being the taunting notes the killer sent to police and the press, just as my father had done, signing his name as the Black Dahlia Avenger some 20 years earlier. There's much more in Most Evil about the crime signatures and the motive that point to Dr. George Hodell 
in the Chicago, Manila, and San Francisco murders. Unlike my first book, where active head Deputy DA Steve Kay reviewed my investigation and declared the Dahlia case solved, I'm not making that same claim in Most Evil. But the new evidence is strong and compelling, and I do believe my father's name should go to the top of the list as a suspect. And recent breakthroughs in DNA testing could establish the link once and for all. Behind those jagged mountains, lilac crest, once lay the captive birds. For now I leave you with a voice once again. There was my brother slain, my sister bound. My father loved an audience. The killer and the Dahlia, Lipstick, Jigsaw, and Zodiac murders loved taunting and teasing police. My God, when did I not love you? In life, in death, when shall I not love you? Are they all one and the same man?